Hello and welcome back, it's Cam and Cowboy, back with another level 22 to 25 range equipment guide, well, stats guide. So, we already covered equipment, we already covered gemstones, so now what is the next best way to improve my stats as a city level 22 to 25? Well, that can be summarized with your airship, and accompanying that is going to be your airship parts. Now there's a couple of different tricks that you can have along with this. As far as the <clears throat> level goes and like what should you be striving for, I highly recommend that you strive first for a level 40 airship. This will be able to give you some great abilities and hopefully give you the opportunity to have some airship parts accompanying your account. Now please excuse me, it has been a long time well, I've never seen a level 40 airship with airship parts. When I had a level 40 airship back in King of Avalon, they didn't have such a thing as airship parts. And when I had a level 40 airship in Guns of Glory, again, no airship parts. So it wasn't something that I was particularly looking at. Maybe one of you who are in the chats can help enlighten me on that information. However, I just want to say that, well, it's something that is doable. And I think that, you know, possibly it is something that will be able to help you. So strive for the level 40, and I believe that would allow you to have one, I believe you'll have one skill missing. So if we take a look at the parts armory, well, pardon that, let's go ahead and take a look at the skills first. So you want to go ahead and put your best skills on the table and leave off skills that, well, necessarily won't help you as much. So if we're talking about uh, skills that won't help us as much, I think that the ones to leave off of the table are going to be our... Hold on a second. Our Cavalry Cannons 1, Cavalry versus Infantry Damage. You're not going to have that second part of the uh, skill yet, so it's not going to be as helpful. So that we would want to leave off, and we would also want to leave off the cavalry versus di distance damage, cavalry cannons too. Because in the end of the day, our attackers are going to be our bowmen, so let's give them as much help as possible. So we would leave off those two skills, and if you need to leave off an additional skill, I would probably recommend leaving off battlefield treatment. Now. With that being said, try to get your skills the highest level possible according to your airship level. Another thing is, if you're not really using your airship for combat, well, my motto is, if you're not ready for combat, shield. So, if you're not using your airship for combat, leave it in the balance and build up all those guardian and assault um, points so that you can upgrade the skill level of your airship. And then again, with the intensity crystals, bring them all up in sync. You don't want to go high, you know, have really high on one and then really low on another. However, not a huge deal. It's a relatively small percentage on a small stat, but as you work your way up with a higher level, things change. So, when we go into the part showcase, there's a couple things that we want to note here. You'll note that based on the skill level, you unlock different things. So, the first thing that you will unlock on every single skill is going to be infantry, level 10. Cavalry, at level 15. And then your distance, at level 20. So, based on what skill levels you have, well, based on the highest skill levels that you have, this would be a determining factor on, okay, where do I want to put my money? Or, not money, necessarily, but where do I want to put all my effort on my parts? Again, bring everything up in unison. Keep in mind, you have less things for your attack everywhere else. So maybe it's a better idea to go a little higher on your attack, which is exactly what you see here. My attack is 5 and 4, respectively. The only other thing that I have at plus 4 is a troop stat. So keep that in mind for your own account. Another thing that is going to be extremely helpful is that 
we want to keep in mind that it is extremely important that it is possible to manipulate your skills and your airship parts based on what level you have. So let's say you have your attack, um, your attack abilities and your attack parts, I should say. But let's say that this level 31 March of Fury, that's the best skill I have. And then again, this level 31 over here on the Guardian side are the best skills that I have. What I would recommend is take all of your skills out. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for you all. So give me a second as my computer lags quite a good amount. And what we will be doing is we will be replacing some of these skills in different slots in order to manipulate the fact that we want to have our attack skills with the highest levels so that the distance, which is why you want the attack skills, have those level 20 skills in front of them. So everything else, you know, let's say it doesn't matter where everything else is. So I'm going to keep this in mind and I'm going to go ahead and assign everything in just random orders. And then when it comes to my level 31 skills that I have, these will be my level 20 skills. And you place them in accordance with the attack parts, as you'll see here, so that it is possible to unlock those distance abilities and percentages on your airship parts. And with that being said, you just unlocked yourself maybe an extra 20% distance attack. That is a great addition to your account. And I really hope that it will help you guys. And as far as airship goes, that pretty much covers the airship. So another thing that goes really well in hand with your airship is going to be your Lord level. So let's load this up and if we're going to be in the attack and we're talking about combat here as this is all about stats, the best way to increase your stats again is going to be through um, your Lord level. Great way to increase this, Kingdom Threat, you're going to have the Wolf Lord as well as doing daily red guards. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and take a look. You'll see that you know, not everything that I'm doing is going to be something that you're able to do. So keep that in mind, as we all have different lower levels. And here's what I'm going to recommend for the level 22 to 25 range. You're going to be around somewhere in like maybe level 30 lower level, maybe 35 lower level. This is just an estimate. I honestly have no clue what that amounts to in talent points. So we're just going to go along with it. I've already made a Lord level video, but just to run through a little quickly, look at your stats, see what you lack in. Are you lower in defense? Are you lower in health? Are you lower in cavalry versus infantry? Are you lower in cavalry versus distance? Go through the list, go as far as you can, and try to knock out things that you're lower in to help bring them up. And just keep going all the way down the line. And the reason you want to go down the line is because, well, quite frankly, if you go down the line, you might get to something like those March Capacities or the Battlefield Treatment or another talent. So it's just really helpful. Now, if you realize, okay, well, maybe I have to go through some artillery or I have to go through something that I don't necessarily need, let's say like infantry attack. I don't want to start infantry attack because I know I can't finish it. Well, then let's circle back and take care of something a little lower level that I know I can take care of. Thus, distance attack or the opposite opposing um, di infantry uh, defense or health. So I really hope this guys this helps you guys and I just want to thank you all for watching. The next part of this video I believe will be going into the 26 to 29 range. So, 
as always, thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. This concludes the level 22 to 25 guide on how to increase your stats. There are different ways to increase stats. And, well, you know, I've covered pretty much every way to increase your stats in my video. So you can always take a look back on there. I definitely left out glory banners. However, that's pretty self-explanatory if you follow along with what I do with my glory banners. Because no matter what level you are, it's always imperative to focus on the stats that count and focus on not getting too far ahead in one building without bringing out the other buildings. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest videos. This is Cab Cowboy.